Good evening, Mr. and Ms. Internet and all our ships at sea. Atari here, you there, and we got to design an antenna. This channel is made possible in part by Morning Fame, smarter analytics to simplify YouTube growth. Use the link on your screen right now to get your first month free. And by TubeBuddy, your best friend on the road to YouTube success. Use the affiliate link on your screen to sign up today. So for Project Tiros, I need to design an antenna that will pick up satellite signals from a from an orbiting satellite. Now, I want to pick up uh, satellite signals from a, a polar orbiting uh, NOAA satellite. So, uh, what that essentially means is that we've got you, know, you got Earth, so North Pole, South Pole, and you have the satellite that revolves that way, and it just goes over the poles. Etc. Kind of like that. It just keeps revolving over the poles as the Earth rotates. So it's doing this, the Earth is doing this, and so what it's doing is it's taking pictures and measurements and everything over a different area every time it orbits. So what it ends up looking like is if you have your map, so what happens is you basically have this path that looks kind of like that and it does this as it goes across. Um, something like that. So you'll notice it draws this sort of like interesting spiral pattern. And that's actually the way that the signal comes across as well. So what we have essentially is you have like, you know, your kind of television uh, antenna, uh, like a Yagi style antenna, and that's actually, um, it's, it's, it's polarized a certain way, it's horizontally polarized, and so when you have a pickup antenna, you know, rabbit ears on top of a TV doesn't actually work. If you notice, uh, if you're an, an old school analog person like me, you'll notice that if you take the rabbit ears and you turn them pretty much horizontal, that's when you get the best signal. And because the rabbit ears are like six feet long, you end up having these two hunks of aluminum sticking out like this, and it gets in everybody's way, and you know, and your parents hate it, and they, they make you turn it the other way and put tinfoil on it or something. And I'm like, that doesn't work. That's not how it works. And it needs to be attenuated because I learned all this stuff by reading the encyclopedia, Mom. Um, anyway. Uh... <laughs> Gosh, having flashbacks. <laughs> anyway, so so that's your your TV signal, and you'll notice like uh, VHF communications, uh, like radio. Um, you have your your signal, and um, like your CBs and your police radios and things like that. That's my mustache car. Uh, they have these big whip antennas like this because. It's a, uh, it's a vertically uh, polarized signal that it gets there and it hits the wavelength. So you have this horizontal polarization, you have a vertical polarization, and for this, you actually have a circular polarization. So the signal actually comes like that from whichever direction. So in order to do this the right way, this is kind of the top view, what you end up having is this sort of helical shape. Uh, if I can draw it. That's what your antenna ends up looking like. You have this sort of helical shape and that uh, allows you to pick up signals from pretty much any direction. So that's what we've got to, got to look at. Um, there is a formula for doing this, and it's um, something like uh, 0.82 lambda, which is your wavelength, um, something like that, uh, and that gives you, you know, how wide to make this helix. Um, I'm going to double check the math, and there's actually a really good calculator online. I'm probably just going to use that. Uh, and that will give us all the measurements we need to actually cut everything. But essentially you have uh, you have a polarization and then it 
you know, it runs down the middle and then it runs out into your coaxial cable. And so you have um, just your element in the middle and then your grounded sheath is actually the other side of the antenna. And then that's what actually gets your signal and gets the, the strongest signal with the most gain. So there's this handy dandy calculator. All we really have to do is put in our basic data here. Um, design frequency is 137.5 megahertz. That is, that's the midpoint because the NOAA satellites uh, transmit between 137 and 138 megahertz. Half, uh, half turn for our twist. Uh, one turn is one wavelength. That's, uh, that's what we're, we're doing right here. So uh, this is essentially one turn and that's gonna go from here to here. And that's, that's the wavelength. And because it's circularly, you know, oriented, it's going to be able to pick it up from whichever direction it's coming down on. So there's two loops. One is, uh, one's a larger loop and there's a, a smaller loop. And so they kind of spiral around each other in order to get the top end versus the bottom end. Um, let's see, bending radius, 15 millimeters, that's fine. Conductor diameter, seven millimeters. Yeah, that ought to work. That sounds about right for our wire. Uh, width and height ratio, yeah, 0.44 ratio ought to be fine. So I can take these measurements here and then I will apply them to my PVC pipe back here. So I'm gonna cut the uh, little separators out of this half inch PVC and then I'll be mounting it to the two inch PVC there against the wall. Um, and so it's gonna have this sort of like little tree design to it. And then those, I'll wrap the wire around that, and we'll attach all that to the BNC connector, and that will be able to plug into our SDR, and then we'll be able to pick up those signals as soon as the, uh, as soon as the satellite passes overhead. So there's one other uh, consideration we need to make when we're designing an antenna, and that is the actual reception. So uh, we're picking up the signal. We have our, our helical antenna, but if we look down, if we look down from the top, this is much easier to see. If we look down from the top and we've got our long side and we've got our short side, and they're, they're symmetrical. They're, these are symmetrical uh, little antenna, uh, little, you know, elements to our antenna. They're all symmetrical. So they're all picking up pretty much the same uh, signal. They're all picking up the same signal. So as it comes in, it's just this, it's just this, uh, this, you know, waveform, this, and that it, 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 you can't really uh, do anything with it. So what we have to do is we have to adjust this, uh, have to adjust the wiring here so we have different impedance on the different elements and what that does is it creates uh, what's known as a ballon and that's a it's just a little device and typically what it does is it, it changes impedance on different signals but uh, long and short of it what it practically does is that it takes a, a balanced symmetrical and it converts it into an unbalanced signal, a modulated signal, that you can then uh, do math to and, uh, and get something out of it. 
it's it's like those little boxes you get, uh, the little you know the little old school antenna boxes that you used to plug into the back of the TV. You'd have the the two leads that screw on. Uh, those were uh, balanced 300 ohm leads that came from your Yagi antenna up on top of the house, and comes in comes into this little box, changes impedance, and now it is a 75 ohm unbalanced signal, so that the TV can then know what to do with the chroma and the luma and, and so forth. And we're doing essentially the same thing here, is we're going to create this ballon uh, through the actual uh, construction, uh, because we're going to use two different kinds of wire. We're going to use our normal our normal uh, copper wiring here, and then we're also going to use uh, RG6, which is your you know coaxial type cable, where you've got your little your little center guy, and then the the you know this part that screws on. So there's inside this cable you've got that core, and then on the outside, this reason it's called coaxial. Uh, on the outside you have a, basically a this copper braiding uh, that shields the inside so you have a signal on the outside and you have a signal on the inside and that's how you get that unbalanced thing so what we're going to do is we're actually going to have some of our elements connect here to the shielding on the cable and then some of our elements are going to actually connect here to the core and then there will be a mismatch there there'll be an unbalanced signal and we can directly put that into the sdr without any further processing so Let's get this thing wired up, and let's test it, and let's see if we can get our satellite signal. So this is what the inside of a coaxial looks like. You have your, um, this is your shielded outer section, and then you have this inner core. And that's the part that plugs in. This uh, is what connects to the, the screw connector on the outsides, and it's separated by a little little insulating layer right there in between. So we're going to connect a couple of our cables to the core and a couple of our cables to the uh, shield. <laughs> So right here, I have stripped away some of the um, some of the insulation from the RG6 cable, and I've wrapped the th other three leads. This is the bottom of the antenna. You see, I, everything terminates right here, and the uh, the termination point on these three leads are going to be soldered to the shielding on the RG6 cable. And then uh, the whole thing will go out to a BNC connector, and uh, we will have our antenna. Okay, so our QFH antenna is very nearly assembled. Uh, everything's wired, everything's put together. Last thing I gotta do is get this little BNC connector uh, onto the end of the RG6 cable that I am using. So what I've gotta do is I need to attach the, the core of this coaxial goes into the core here and then of course the shield goes onto the shielding. So pretty simple. Um, it's just going to be an interesting sort of... Working with coaxial is... really is a pain. Um, 
done it before. I got a background in um, broadcasting, as you've probably gathered by now. So this AV engineering. So all of this kind of stuff. This is really just ah. Coaxial is kind of the bane of my existence. I'm trying to splice coaxials. And trying to splice these cables and, and doing strange and terrible things with them. In order to get them working is always kind of a weird um, situation. So I'm going to want to solder that as it is. And then I'm going to want to wrap that in electrical tape and then solder this piece separately. Now we have our BNC connector on our coaxial cable hooked into our QFH antenna. Now we're ready to actually get this hooked into our SDR and let's see if we can pick up a signal. So that is the process of building a QFH or a quadrifuelar helix antenna. Now tell me, have you ever worked with uh, helical antennas, satellite antennas, a satellite uh, reception, uh, NOAA satellites, weather reception, anything like that? Let me know down in the comments below. Uh, over here, you've got the social media links. Down here is the subscribe button. Go ahead, hit that. Up here is the complete playlist for Project Tiros. You can see the whole process start to finish. And then, of course, the newsletter down here. Get all the updates on all the different things going on in all the different arenas. My name is Atari, and until next time, tally-ho, y'all.